Welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Julia Let's Play on Rome Total War, the original. Now, last time we had uh, a good time. We moved from Elysia. We also uh, moved from Alexandria, and we destroyed Pontus in the last stand of Pontus. Now, these two armies are pretty beaten up now because of that, uh, but we should be able to probably push on very soon. Now, I think this is the end of the turn, so we're just going to have a look through the cities. Yeah, I assume like Lepsis, Magna, Narbo. Ooh. Um, where's that? Mazaka. Okay, it's being uh, rebuilt in Mazaka. Now, we might lose Alexandria this turn to rebels, but I think we'll just siege it down. Um, not 100% bothered right now about taking a bit of time to retake Alexandria. General. Hmm. Forward. Let's see what see what the public orders like Thank if we're all in there. The yeah, it's only on 55, which is just not good enough right now. So yeah, let's do that. Let's take these guys out. Um, and let's have a look over here. We have a load of peasants, so I'm thinking we can bring all these guys off here, maybe to Lepsis. Where we'll disband them. If we can just disband them, hmm, let's come via Thapsus and then, hmm, yeah, let's come to like here and then the rebels hopefully won't attack us because if the rebels attack us, that'd be a bit of a disaster. Uh, but that's the end of the turn, so it's the end of the turn there. Oh, those ships, we need to move them ships again. In terms of the plan, I think we're going to try and take over the rest of Egypt. We'll try and corner this that whole um, eastern side of the map off. Yeah, Alexandria was just rebel uh, rebellions again. Imperator, forward. Orders. Now, let's see whether. The so that's 55. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of risky. I think they will probably rebel next turn. Although there is that Egyptian army. So if we leave, hmm, that Egyptian army might siege it, and then that'll stop it rebelling. So I think we try that. Okay, Lucius is Pontifex Maximus. That's actually really good. Look at that influence he's got. That's crazy. And Vibius is a quiet quite store now. Okay, that rebel army didn't attack us here, which is great. First, I like to game with the Senate. No, that's not what we want. Oh, look at the people. They love us. Sen Senators hate us. You can float a trireme in the drinks the people offer to buy you. Oh well, I hope we're not drunk all the time. We've got an empire to run. Uh, we are the richest faction again, so that's good. We've got all that construction. We're making peasants massacre. Okay, makes sense. Uh, Alexandria, Byreme. This guy come up here. So as soon as their Marian reforms are done, we're going to start recruiting some big armies out of this area. Um, some pretty strong armies. And I don't know why they feel the need to have armies outside my uh, my cities, but I suppose the Bruti I just don't know what to do at this point. I don't understand why they don't just go and take Bylazora. Like, even if they just put two armies outside and just sieged it down, they would be fine. But I guess <laughs> I guess they don't really understand, so... Let's do the building, and then we'll move the armies. Um, Sparta, what could we do with you? Mouse is a bit janky today. Let's go with that. Halicarnassus, um, you're small... But you have already you already do have a pretty fast growth, so let's focus on public order. Or maybe movement. Um how much would this make? Like barely anything. I think we'll go for the um public health. I know that will increase the uh, population growth, but not too much of a worry. Now these ones we definitely want to um, go with growth because we want them to become our cities as soon as possible. Now, Sinope, hmm, this is important. Do we need to retrain these guys? I mean, it'll give them more armor. 
let's do it. And then what do we need? I think we need another Equites, most likely, looking at this. And we couldn't even retrain the archers. So let's go with another Equites. Do we sit here, though, and wait until the Marion reforms go? Because that would probably be more helpful. Um... But I don't know. We definitely need more public order here, anyway. So let's go for that. Let's get the uh, get the old what do you call it um, temple on the run, and let's massacre. Let's probably do the same in massacre. Ooh, okay, we could go for um, could go for barracks or something like that. Uh, but I don't think we need that. I think we need pop, uh, public order just to keep it stable when we leave. Um, and then do we retrain do we train anything else here? Do we train another Hastati? How much longer until we still got three turns on that? How many turns on this? That's 50% complete, so two more I assume. So we still do have three turns there. Hmm. Imperator! Yeah, I'm I'm hoping that's fine. Now up here we want to keep moving. At your service. Condate Radonum. Uh, where's their big army? Now, uh, the big army's coming across to try and fight us. Herius Victor will do the good job, though. So, whatever they want to do is fine. I'm just hoping that Br the Britons don't attack us while we're um, cleaning up the rest of Gaul. I mean, we've only got these two provinces, and then I still assume this is Gaul, but... Hmm. I don't really want to march down there. Not yet, anyway. Let's bring that army to there. Let's end the turn again. Okay, we've got spies moving. Probably should have checked all that sort of stuff, but that'll be fine. It doesn't look like the Egyptians have got many armies that are moving around. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that was the rebellion, I assume. That uh, Gallic army is definitely going to attack us. So, civil revolt in Alexandria. Decius the Cruel. Well, where is Decius the Cruel? Sir! Because this will determine where he goes. Uh, capture rebel settlement Alexandria. I mean, we are going to do that. And we have the opportunity for a draw out battle here. So we're definitely going to take that. Now, Narbo Martius. Ooh. That's not ideal. However, they won't build anything for a couple of turns. For the first turn anyway. So I'm sure we'll be able to get there and we'll be able to kill them. So, city expands, Mediarnium. Cool, more expansion of the cities, that's awesome. New family member. Now, where's Decius the Cruel? Not Lucius. Decimus Laenus. That's Decius the Cruel, so... I think this guy will go to the capital. Yeah, he will. And that's actually fine, I kind of want them in the capital. I wish the Bruti I would move out of my land. That's blocking a route for me to move troops around. It's really annoying. Bloody bastards. Um, Suggester. What do we want to build here? Probably the market. Let's keep the uh, money flowing. Uh, Mediterranean. Yep, you're getting upgraded. Carolus. Hmm. I mean, not hugely important. Suggestica. Also not hugely important. Uh, Palmer. Also, not hugely important. <laughs> now, Corinth. Okay, these are more important. Corinth. I think we go for the shipwright, honestly, to get more trade routes. Um, public order looks okay, so let's go for that. Um, Athens. Let's go for the market. Kydonia. Again, not hugely important. Let's go for the public order, even though it looks alright. Um, Pergamum. Mines definitely get some more money. Uh, losing a lot to corruption though. Also, it's not a huge impact. It's about 50. It's about 40. 40 more corruption for 150. So it's like 110 extra, but over time it'll add up and over time we'll get rid of the corruption. Let's keep building up the public order here. Now we have left uh, Tertius Silius here because we had four in the army. Now this might serve as a good base to start building another army uh, when once we get the Marium reforms uh, because we're going to be cleaning up Gaul here 
and we need someone to go and deal with Gaul down here. So we might need another army to fend off the Bretons if they start attacking us. Um, right, so that was uh, Elysia. Alexandria has just rebelled, so we can't do that. Cool. So that's a draw out battle. What have we got up here? Let's uh, move this guy first because we're just going to be making siege, it looks like. Herius the Great. Herius Victor, I mean, sorry. Legendary hero. He is just. Everything is. Uh, <laughs> everything he has is a combat trait. He has nothing else. He's just a pure military man. Okay, those guys are sorting that out. Now, what do we want to do about here? I think we probably want to combine these armies if we can. They're both pretty well uh, established armies. Um, Tarsus down here. And Antioch. I think we go for Antioch, honestly. So... Okay, these Prinkabays, they need to get in there. So this army can come out. We do have a full army then, don't we? Got four generals. We want Quintus here, probably leading, rather than Amulius. So, let's get Quintus in there. Do we retrain these guys? Yes, we do. Uh, let's hire some peasants. Honestly, once that's done, this this army can get going. Oh, no, those are the Prinkapades from this army, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I think we will just hire one of these cavalry units. Um, let's get rid of that. those guys, just knock them out of the way. And I think this army will probably go east, if we can, up to the Seleucid capital. And once these Prinkapes are retrained, we'll send them back up and we'll send this guy to Antioch. Now, the real battle General. is here, isn't it? So, who are we attacking? Can't really see. This guy? Yeah. What do they have, though? Slingers, peasants, desert cavalry, and more slingers. That's awful. Can't really see the other one. These guys have got Pharaoh's Guards, which are actually okay, but Nubian Spearmen, so they got poor morale. The Nubian Cavalry have good morale, but uh, like our Cavalry Swarm will destroy them. Let me just retreat from that. Let's see what's in here. Two Pharaoh's uh, Guards and Egyptian Chariots as well. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with Chariots. Uh, we don't have much um, missile troops. So I'm hoping we'll just have to deal with them with our general's bodyguards, honestly. Prepare for battle. Which one was the one? Yeah, we'll deal with these guys first because we can just cavalry swarm them. And they'll probably break. Even the Pharaoh's even the Pharaoh's guard. We've seen them break before. They broke in the in the battle for Alexandria, I think. The important thing though is just destroying all of the armies. Those now let's listen to the general's speech. They think themselves our equals, but I think they are dead meat. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. Our horsemen are strong, but then so are the enemy spearmen today. A little care and judgment will be needed. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth and let this be one more. March on and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Yay, I think that's it. Yep, cool. Um, well, as usual... We will just use the fixing line and then we'll use the rest of the cavalry. Um, right, you go here. Let's uh, group all these guys. Big cavalry contingent, as usual. And the slingers. 
Now, will be busy today. I'm not really too happy to about having to deal with the chariots. Where are the chariots? Is this the chariots? Yeah, it is. Why don't we come here before they can even move? Like, before they can start running. Although, aren't they the guys inside the city, so we want them to come out here? Yeah. Yeah, we want them to come out here. We want them to come out into the middle. You guys come. All of these guys can come down here. Why are they still running the other way? It's kind of weird. I think they'll try and skirmish with the chariots to start with, won't they? I'm trying to remember how many hit points these guys had. Five, was it? Or was that the Pontus ones? I am sick of dealing with chariots. I'm not looking forward to dealing with the bloody Brit uh, Breton chariots as well. No, they will be really annoying. Right. Nubian spearmen, get rid of them. Now, cavalry. Let's get into the Nubian cavalry. We're going to be charging into their phalanx, which is obviously never great, but our cavalry will do the job in a sec. Once we've killed all of these Nubian cavalry, which are instantly broke, even though supposedly they have good morale. That's everyone broken now. Uh, now, it doesn't. As long as we kill 80% of these guys, it doesn't matter a huge amount about. How come they can put their spears down when they're, they're, they're routing? That kind of really annoys me. Um, now, which of these guys was the guy, the people inside the city? I think it was these ones over here. So, let's set up for that. Yep, yeah, looks like we've got everyone. Um, right, we'll just come back a bit. See whether they can uh, join their troops together. And if we can fire some of... I know our slingers aren't exactly the hugest uh, contingent. We only have 25 of them. But if they can fire at them, the enemy a little bit, at least the chariots, then we should be okay. How fresh are we? We're, we're all warmed up. Yeah, no one's tired yet, which is awesome. Look at the slaughter. Absolutely destroyed them. Awesome. That's good. Uh, I think we only lost a few of these men. It looks like it was from when they were routing, when they put their bloody spears down, even though they were still routing. These guys going to try and escape? It was me attacking them. I just don't know whether we send like half the cavalry up one way. Let's go with like a small cavalry contingent up this way. And maybe like three Astartes. Oh, we don't want the... Uh... Let's just make sure all of these guys are on their fire will. Oh, they're all starting to move now. Is that them trying to escape or what? Charge those ca chariots. If we can get the charge off on the chariots, that would be awesome. Now, I think... Yeah, I, I don't know. We've got so many chariots that it doesn't really matter too much. This army is just slingers and uh, peasants. We can just charge straight in. Yeah, we killed the chariots just with the charge. That's good. I'm hoping we can get rid of all of them so that even if even if uh, they remain, they won't come back. There we go. That's good. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. We only killed 37%. I assume that's them running. How far away from the the border are they? all go for different things. They are running away now, aren't they? So we've got to make sure we don't let these guys get away either. Don't want to charge straight into these guys, but if we have to, we will. Now, it looks like they might... Yeah, they're going to put their... You come through and charge them in the back. No, they're, they're still going to be okay. Oh, they're running. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Right, you guys can come over here now. Now, they don't know what to do because we've got them trapped. But 
yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close this trap very soon. Two Pharaohs guard though, they are good units. they are well, they're not good units, they're okay units. As phalanx units goes, they're okay. They don't have any shield though. Which obviously is kind of trash. Now they're gonna try and escape over this way. Not gonna happen, bro. Attack. Charge them in the rear then. If they're, if they're going to do that, charge them. Why are you charging the wrong way? That wasn't even a charge. Okay, we broke these guys now. That's good. We're trying to take the opportunity to escape. While we've got... We're, we're, we're killing the other guys. So, kill them. And then let's go kill these guys. How much have we killed? 76. I think we need to get rid of this unit, honestly. Oh, oh, that's going to be tough on these guys, but we've got to keep them held. I don't want them to escape. The God Continue it. We need to get over 85, 100%. Let's go, let's go. How much are we on now? 81. I don't think it's going to be enough. They might still have troops in Alexandria. Oh, no. That's so close. It's those bloody horsemen that escaped. Two two units of horsemen escaped, and that's it. Captain Philip uh, Philippos. Although, if the person inside the city has disappeared, we should be able to move into the city. I think. Ah, they've escaped into the city. Prepare for battle. Besieging that's really annoying. Sir. What under siege, is sir. left? Just a unit of slingers and desert cavalry. That's really not much. Could even probably auto resolve that next next uh, next go, and then when we do, we're going to exterminate the city because they revolted against us. Of course, we need to, to and also, excuse me, and also, um, the public order was a massive issue here. So, hello, armies. Now they're moving all of their armies south, which is kind of interesting because that means I've got an opportunity to strike. So let's do that as soon as we can. Um, these peasants. I think we move them here and then we disband them all. Uh, I don't know, is there a... Uh, is there a shortcut for disband? It doesn't say on the on the tooltip. Maybe I have to uh, add it in. I was hoping that would get Lepsis Magna a bit of population. Yeah, definitely did. Made them unhappy though, <laughs> which is not great, but a lot of that will be the culture penalty we've got here. Everything is Carthaginian, apart from the Shrine to Jupiter. Uh, also, Carthage isn't happy anymore, but once that arena gets done, they, they will be happy because we can chop and change that. I'm surprised Carthage is still so unhappy. Ah, oh, it's all squalor. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of that squalor at some point. Um, Right then, we got anywhere else to build? Let's just Magna, Narbo, ooh, Sardis. Um, go with that. Cyrene, Ankira, Nicomedia. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. Let's end the turn here then and let's see what happens. We might get attacked by the Gauls. Yes, we have been attacked by the Gauls. Cool. Well, I think we'll do this battle. Ooh. I think we'll do this battle, uh, and then we'll end the episode here. So, well, look, oh my god, it's all, all back again. <laughs> oh, that's just so annoying. I don't know how, who's in the city. I don't think it'd be uh, very strong units. Um, we got one skirmisher, it's all warband. So, we just have to do the, the standard tactic again. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it's the tactic that works, so why would we do anything else? What can a soldier do who charges? Now, you're probably well, wondering about this evening's entertainment. There's enough wine in camp to float a boat. It's all yours when they're dead. Oh yes, and the camp women will be suitably appreciative too. The girls fool themselves. <laughs> What's that? What trait is that from? Or better, I is he a drunk? They, the stench of death about them. they stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. 
So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. The first move in this particular game is theirs, I think. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. They are lacking in spearmen. And this will work to the benefit of our large contingent of horsemen. What? That's all they have. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Cool. Herius. Is it Herius Victor or is it Herius the Great? I keep forgetting. Now, we don't have a huge amount of infantry in this army, but that's fine. Because we don't need it. Uh, main thing we want to kill though is the second army coming in so I should have looked at where that army was going to come in and go and kill that first so that we can get into the uh, town now we have a huge amount of cavalry Ooh, I didn't mean to do that We've got a huge amount of cavalry but they do have a huge amount of spearmen I don't know why he said they're lacking in spearmen because their whole army was the enemy here brought up more men but they've attacked us, so we don't need to be uh, too, weir too wary about just being on the defense. Let's have a look at this contingent they have over here. Okay, it's just three units of warband. Kind of need them to come into the battle, though. Don't want them to escape. So let's just wait while we can. Then we'll swing the army out. They do have the Barbarian Warlord, which we've seen do have an ability to kill a lot of one of these units of Astarte. Especially when they've not got much armor or experience, but I'm sure we'll be okay. We need to, we need to wait a bit longer until these guys come in. But I'm hoping they will escape in the corner. They'll try and escape in the corner rather than the edge. Right, let's get our cavalry around this way. And they're going to war cry, but we're going to fire our uh, peeler. As soon as that general's dead, they are going to rout like hell. Cool. Let's come around. Yeah, the more time they give us, the better, honestly. Also gives us a chance to maneuver our cavalry. So not too bothered by that. Let's uh, let's charge the Barbarian Warlord. I'm sure none of these warband will get in the way, honestly. I'm gonna have to charge through. Uh, yeah, warbands are already just breaking straight up. What has happened to our charges the last couple of times? Oh, mass route already, away. Jesus. The enemy, general is slain. enemy general's dead, that means more routing. They're all routing now. We need to clean that up, but we need to kill all of the rest of these guys. So maybe we take take you four over there. You guys there. Um, you can chase down these guys. Same as you. You can chase down these guys. These guys. These guys got anyone else that we need to charge down you can just come over here looks like so surely these guys are gonna run now surely we need to get there as soon as we can though just charge them charge them charge them we need to get rid of them all all of them the goals have been too too mean to us they called us nasty names one time. So let's get behind them so they can't escape. And if they want to continue this battle, that is fine by me. Bring our archers, go and try and fire at them, guys. There's a few uh, horses that have stopped, so I assume they've killed all their men. So bring them back across. You go in there. Getting the archers, right, this is starty contingent, you can come. They still want to fight, it's really kind of crazy, I, I don't understand. Yeah, we are very nearly at 85% already, which is kind of good. 
Um, you come, you come. Uh, you as well. And we'll get these four guys behind them still. Yeah, they have such low range, it's kind of crazy. We do need Hastati to fix them still because... Still don't want to have to charge them uh, face on. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's all we could have wanted, for, wanted really. Charge those guys. God, what are they doing? What are they doing? Right, let's go, let's go. We've got this now. Like, they're all just gonna break instantly, really. Actually, don't fire, don't fire. You guys, we're not over that way. Just completely ruined these guys. Yeah, we've ruined them now. That's good. These guys should break instantly. Yeah, the there they are. Show just been touched. They, they break. They cool. Only uh, it's quite nice. Them. How many have we killed already? 95. We don't need to uh, carry on, but let's just see whether we can get any experience with our men. Yeah, I killed the enemy general. Oh no, friendly fire, friendly fire. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm send all you guys kill this last guy. If we can. He's running for it. Go on then. Go on, lad. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I reckon he will do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, no, he won't. He won't. He won't. It depends how... Oh, he just about made it. He just got killed. Wow. Look at that ratio. <laughs> That's the power of morale destroying. We killed more men than we actually have here. And they killed, you know, 30, which is pretty bad. <laughs> we probably killed more men via friendly fire than that, honestly, ourselves. Let's do the um, enslavement to keep the uh, keep the population growth growing. Oh, wow. Let's see whether we can get rid of this. So up to That is up to 75 now. So let's do that just to make sure. Herius Victor got an Oracle, which is pl plus one influence, plus one command, which is awesome. Decimus Vettius got Priest of Jupiter. Uh, Construction-wise, yeah, we've got a lot of construction to do. And recruitment-wise, Sinop, more peasants. Cool. Are we going to leave Vibius here? I think we are. He's old now. So he can look after it. Sinope is a large city as well, so it would be an idea to leave a guy there. Um, those Prinkapes can go rejoin while we're doing that. Hmm. Actually, let's send this army to Tarsus. Then we'll send this army to Antioch. And then maybe up north if need be. All these, all these blooming uh, Egyptian armies are coming after us now. Yeah, they've got some experience. Not a huge amount, though. The, th the thing is, if we get inside the city, those uh, Egyptian chariots are not going to be able to do anything. So, yeah, we probably do that. But, that should be it for the time being, guys. The new episode, episode 21, shall be released, hopefully, the next day after this. So, if you want to keep watching, do subscribe to the channel and... Uh, do subscribe to the playlist as well. Um, you can have a look at the playlist. It's got all the videos there. So thank you very much, guys, once again. I um, hope you enjoyed, and I should see you again on the next video.